During our experiment here, we're going to have a look at the reaction between hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide solution in part A and look at the temperature change we can observe during this reaction. So I need to measure out, first of all, 20 centimetres cubed of hydrochloric acid. And I'm just going to use my dropping pipette to make sure we've got exactly the right amount there. And I'm going to pour that into the first of my boiling tubes here. And then we need to make sure that we know the temperature at the beginning of the experiment. So I'm going to stand my thermometer in there while I use a second measuring cylinder to measure out 10 centimetres cubed of sodium hydroxide. And then with a clean dripping pipette, just take some out so that the meniscus is bang on the 10 centimeter cube line. Okay, so we can record our initial temperature of the acid in the results table, and that is reading. 21.0 degrees C and then I'll dry the thermometer there and pop it oh hang on we need to transfer our alkali into the boiling tube there um there we go and I'll put the thermometer into the other boiling tube and we'll leave that for a minute and so we can check the temperature there as well Okay, so that one is also reading 21.0 degrees as well, which is not surprising because they've both been sat in the same lab for a wee while. So next instruction on the practical sheet then is to pour the sodium hydroxide solution into the acid, stirring gently with a the thermometer. And we're going to record the highest temperature reached and record it in the table. Now, because you can't see the thermometer very easy, what I thought I would do at the same time is link this up with a data logger. So we have a temperature probe here. So alongside putting the regular thermometer into our mixture, I'm going to pop this in as well. And over here, we've got an app that is linked to the data logger and that is going to record the temperature every two seconds for whatever, however long I leave the probe in there. So that's just going to make it a little bit more visual. You might like to look at the mixture as well and see if you can notice any visible change occurring during the reaction. Okay, so if I pop that one in there i'll have to lift it out slightly as i pour the other stuff in just so we don't pour it all over i'm going to start the recording there and then we will pour these in okay so i can use these to stir as we go now it's much easier for you then to see on the screen the change that I can see on the thermometer. So on my thermometer I can see we're up to about 23 degrees now. So give a good stir there to make sure everything is mixing. And then you can see the graph forming over there so it's looking now like we've got a pretty constant temperature and looking at the thermometer again it hasn't gone any higher than our 23 degrees here so if you can make sure on your result sheet that you have recorded 23.0 degrees as your final temperature here And let me bring you over a little bit so you can just see the patterns that we obtained there. So we had our flat line down at the bottom. So that was before mixing. So that was our start temperature. And then we had a rapid increase in temperature. So you can think what was happening. And now it's just whittling along at pretty much a static temperature at the end temperature of our reaction there. So make sure on your results table, we've got the average starting temperature 
the highest temperature reached and then work out your temperature change. You can complete your word equation with hydrochloric acid plus sodium hydroxide and writing in your products and make a conclusion about the kind of reaction we have here. In part B, we're going to be reacting hydrochloric acid with magnesium. So we're going to approach the experiment in a very similar way to we did in A. So to start with, again, we need 20 centimetres cubed of our hydrochloric acid. So we're going to measure that out in a measuring cylinder. And that is on the line there. So that was our hydrochloric acid there. So we're going to pour that into our boiling tube. Now this time we're just reacting with a solid, with a piece of magnesium. Okay, so like before we're going to record our starting temperature. Okay, so that's looking like exactly 21.0 degrees again. So please record that into your results table. Now like before again, to make it nice and visual, we will include our data logger in there. So I'll start the recording here and like before that's going to record the temperature every two seconds uh, and so we can see that just upon the screen there so we can see what's going on. Then we're going to put in our piece of magnesium ribbon. Now magnesium reacting with hydrochloric acid you might like to think about what you might observe uh, and then you can see if you're prediction is correct and we will monitor the temperature change as well. So we've got that initial temperature down already. So pop this in. Okay, hopefully you can hear and you can see plenty of effervescence there. Remember effervescence, that technical term for fizzing. I'll give it a good old stir. And then let me move this slightly. Can we see on the data logger the temperature zooming up there. So on the thermometer here, I can read about 30 degrees already. And we can see that on the data logger as we go. Right, I'm up to 33, bang on 33, and all the magnesium has disappeared there. And we can see on the data logger that we have now got constant temperature up at the top so actually I can read 34.0 degrees here okay with a bit of stirring and distributing the heat energy more evenly there my thermometer was in the right place to catch 34. okay so on your results table again can you please make sure the highest temperature reached uh, is recorded at 34 degrees okay now on the data logger here it might just be worth a little think can I expand into this section? There we go. So if we have a look at what's happening to our temperature now, can we see that we've reached that maximum and actually now the temperature is decreasing a bit. So you might like to think about why the temperature is decreasing from the 34 and what temperature we would reach eventually. Okay, so we can see there's no reaction. So why is the temperature dropping back down again? Okay, so on your sheet, make sure you've filled in the data and worked out your temperature change. And then we need our word equation. So hydrochloric acid plus magnesium and then your arrow to show your products. So with our fizzing there, have a think about what gas is produced when we react a metal with an acid and then fill in your conclusion about the type of reaction we have here.